the show for men by men. In the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Is anyone in there? Like, go away, I'll push you in the freaking liver. Excuse me, the men's room is occupied. Yeah. And now for your hosts, Baz Rutten and Jeremy St. Ives. <laughs> hey, what up, man? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Boss Rutten. And I'm Jack. And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, where men can hang out. Okay, now, and tonight in the man's room, we're going to get personal. On this show, we're going to be discussing a lot, a lot of aspects of health, especially how to endanger the health of others with others. Did you? Not me. Artists. Now, we've got relationship advice, like how to avoid bruising the face. We're going to take some calls, advising women how to deal with their men. But that's, that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just the thing that you need to do is a click to the groin right there. And when your body connects with the reproductive organs of another man, let me tell you, buddy, it's pain and beauty. Also, we have a special, and we call that special, the cubicle, the copier, and stabbing a co-worker in the eye with a little pencil. <laughs> like, like this. Look at the blood, look at the blood, look at the blood. <laughs> this is going to be an unbelievable show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be discussing rectal marital age. Oh, shut up. First off, I want to talk to you about a second to learn, see if I can teach you how to understand your anger. Now, anger is the death of so many men. Mm -hmm. Heart problems, health problems, boldness, impotence, waking up in the middle of the night with your hands covered in blood and you have no idea what happened. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've been around. Anger. It's a four-letter word. And boy, does that bring you down. Channel that anger into something positive. Like beating the shit out of little guys. Oh. Bah, bah, bah. No, Baz, no. That's, that's not nice. Hey, listen. We all hate it to be ignored, right? Some people try yoga or putting neon under the car, whatever that does. But getting the point across in this life is easier than you think. Thunk, 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 <laughs> just like that. Are you listening, sir, now? Are you listening? Do you see me now? Uh, I bet you he is going to see you. You want to get manhandled? Buck, buck, buck! This usually works for me. What about you? Man, you are really pent up. Yes. You know, you should try some aromatherapy. Hey, listen, the only aroma that I like is the smell of burning flesh. Oh. You understand? Take the other day. I was walking, uh, talking to a friend of mine on the phone a long time ago. He was telling me how he liked the respect and attention from the fellow school teachers in school. Uh, what do you do if you don't get respect? Okay, so I told him, the way you get a man's attention is by doing the unexpected. But just like that, you see? It works with him, works for you. You know, you walk down the street, all nice. And looky look, what do we have here? Oh, it's the lamppost. Oh, this is your head. Just smack your lamppost against it. Do you like that? Do you see me now, huh? Do you see me now? Okay. I think now, in this teacher's lounge, trust me, those people there, they know he's around. Nobody will ignore him anymore. And if a woman walks by, the only thing you need to do, whip it out and say, what are we going to do about this? I'm telling you, people cower under their desks. When he's nearby, man, it's much better. Yeah, charmed, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, hey, Baz, I, I think we need to take a commercial break. We'll be back in the men's room. Remember, don't tap your foot under the stall. 911, what is your emergency? Oh, I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. Who are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger you can't live without. The Heart Stopper, seven patties, six pounds of meat and cheese. You'll be flatlined in five seconds flat. Mm, this is a fucking good burger. Drive in, take out, Burger Shot. Die with a smile on your face. It's back. The groundbreaking formulaic cliffhanger 72. Can Judd Parker save the world from terrorists by staying up for three days and torturing every person of color he can find? I hope so. 
The cliffhanger begins soon, only on Weasel. And now, we're back in the place where your mom's phone number is scrawled in the stall, The Men's Room with Baz and Jeremy. Who's on line three? Yeah. Hey, uh, am I on? This is Mike. What's up, Mike? I tell you what, Baz. My boy Jeff, he is your number one fan. Are you he's... sure he's in the joint right now? But he'll be out in a couple of years. Man, you really put a lot of great advice in your show. Thank I you. mean it. You know, Thank you. you got to put yourself first or people will put you second, you know? I mean, history has some great examples of that. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Jeff. Now... A lot of people in the joint should learn from my advice. You are the boss or you are the bitch. Mm -hmm. That is the name of my next book. I don't believe in an eye for an eye. Oh, no, because boss believes in an eye for two eyes. Or better yet, an eye for two eyes and an ear and a spleen. And maybe a new shirt because this one is covered in entrails. Like that! Who wants to knife fight with me in the audience? Who wants to knife fight Fast. with me Fast. in the audience? Fast! Fast. Cowards! Fast! You sound really constipated. You know, I had a colon cleansing. It was really fantastic. Man, I had so much fecal matter impacted inside of me. Ugh, it was such a drag. I tell you what boss says will clean you right out. A nail gun. Bop, bop, bop! And then I grab a circular saw and then I cut off your arm. Uh, Just like it. And I start hitting with the wet part of the arm. I'm on a construction motif right now. Okay, let's go to the phones. So, who's on line five? Hey, man. My name's Jack. I'm a big fan of the show since you What's came up? back on air. I have a question. Is cyber sex cheating? Like, I've got a video camera up to my junk and I'm in a chat room all lubed up. All my online friends say my junk looks amazing. My hobby doesn't hurt anyone, but my wife's divorcing me. I tell you, I hate the internet. It's for cats and pedophiles, and it's for girly men who want to trick bus. And let me tell you, it's not like real life. I love myonlineme.com. You know, you can really get in touch with yourself by building a little virtual character and uh, building him a house and making him go to the bathroom and watching him sleep. You know what? I hate it. That's what I do. I walked up to the people in virtual reality and I can't break their legs. What good is virtual reality if you can't make people? <laughs> it's bullshit. You know what this is, Jeremy? What? What's this? What's this? that? That's toilet paper. Absolutely right. You have to realize that everything around you is a weapon. Mm. Toilet paper, spoons, a hacksaw. If you're in a lot of trouble, you have real ultimate power. Listen, and you will learn. Now, let me tell you, I've been around. I was in a bar once, and I said something to this drag queen, and she kicked me in the nuts. Can you believe that? <laughs> now, listen, I don't take shit from nobody, especially a man who dresses as a woman. So I grab her by the fucking hair, and I bounce her head. <laughs> Okay, who's in charge now, huh? So suddenly this guy comes out and he attacks me. I grab a beer bottle, pack, break it on the table, stab it in his face. It's bleeding everywhere and down he goes and he had glass in his eye. Dry queen screams, oh, what's going on? I need to come. I look at him in the eye and I say, listen, buddy, this day of misery has just begun. Right in their fucking face. And another guy comes to me with a pool cue. Uh oh, not enough rappers now. Okay, say, listen, are you gonna do something with that? And I slid his throat over and out. He was gurgling, and then I licked his face, and I started laughing. Ha <laughs> ha! And the bartender, it was unbelievable. Fuck you, bartender. I walked outside, I get on a motorcycle, and I get back to my house. Finally, when I was home, I took a long, warm bubble bath. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, we're straight out of time. Uh, see you next time in the men's room. The Men's Room, brought to you by... The Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, but delivered transdermally and discreetly. Pick up the Alco Patch at your local pharmacy. Get ready to put your family to sleep. Weasel presents a whole new season of Ether. 
ringtone defines who you are and how much money you have. So take bling to the next level with Audio Bling. It's VIP luxury ringtones. Oh, they've got that dragon brain ringtone. I've got the science of crime ringtone. Now everyone knows I'm as boring as a show. VIP luxury ringtones, including extreme tones like a person being beheaded or diamonds. A old bitch falling and breaking her hip. <gasps> wow, that's dope. VIP luxury ringtones. Only 100 bucks. Be an individual. Get a VIP luxury ringtone today. Visit VIPLuxuryRingtones.com. Recorded live from Liberty City at the home of the six drink minimum, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club presents all the way from London, Europe, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I've been thinking a lot about war recently. A lot of it about. A lot of bad stuff in the world. Someone's always at war. I was thinking, what's my favourite war? Vietnam, best soundtrack, <laughs> definitely. Second World War, best ending. <sighs> what a finale. <laughs> you know it's over when <sighs> you can't follow that, that's the end. <laughs> People are worried about that though because the atomic bomb, oh. It ended a war, which is good, but the effects are still being felt, which is bad. And it was invented by Einstein, and he's a genius. In his uh, 1907 paper, Einstein said that light could be described as discrete bundles of energies, that when irradiated, I'd, oh, what sort of cunt thinks like that, really? <laughs> I mean, that's what turns Stephen Hawking's mental. Too much thinking. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure. The universe is expanding. Yeah, of course it is, Stephen. <laughs> Take a day off. Go for a walk. Or, not a walk, but open a window. Watch a bit of TV. Robot Wars is on. You like that, don't you? You go, oh, you can't ever go at Stephen Hawking, he's a genius. He's not a genius, he's pretentious. Born in England and talks with an American accent. <laughs> Cambodia, that was a good one. Pol Pot, he killed a hundred thousand people. He rounded up a hundred thousand people and he killed them because they were what he called intellectuals. And that was his threat. And you know how he told whether they were intellectual or not? Was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever. Take them off when they see him coming. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, well, Kierkegaard, here comes Pol Pot. All right? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pot, yeah. No, I'm, I'm thick, as you can see. I'm th him over there, look. Oh, oh, don't kill him. Falklands War. That's probably my favourite. People say it was a conflict. It was a war. And it's my favourite because it was a range war. And what that means is that the Argentinian guns could fire nine kilometres, whereas the British guns could fire 17 kilometres. So we just parked our boats about 10 kilometres away, and theirs were falling into the water, while we were shelling the shit out of them. It's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> yeah. And he's flailing, and, just missing, and you're just steady kicking in the bollocks. Ow! Smack! Ow! Smack! People go, oh, you must never go at midgets. Why not? What are they going to do? <laughs> you must never go at fundamentalist terrorists. They're the scary ones. Midgets, do what you want. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Mr. Ricky Gervais. Critics are raving about how the West was won on Weasel. Running horses, justified genocide, big bosoms, and chip face shootouts are coming to Tuesdays on the next season of Spittoon. Don't miss it. Honey! What are you doing sitting in your car in the driveway staring at your phone? Are your pants on buckled? It's the Wiz Wireless Video Package. Watch all your favorite movies on your phone, on demand. At home, at work, while stuck in traffic. Adult titles, too. You won't want to get out of your car. Honey, the neighbors are calling the police. Wiz Wireless. Do the social vibe. Technology. It's what a man needs. 
Extreme 9. The Excelsior Extreme 9. Nine blades of glory. Facial hair makes you look like a pervert or a hobo. Or someone covering a scar he got tossing salad in the jar.